Mr. King's Pardon by Safus Velas. Would you like a copy? Yes. Thank you. Oh, do you know? Oh, no, you don't know any other bard. My, my background, you ask. Why? I am but a humble bard from High Rock. Perhaps you care to hear a fable. Knock it off, Deandro, she says. I like companions with personality. I see that your companion wishes not to hear my fables of Eliana. Perhaps some other time. That's not what I meant. Huh. What did she mean? Do you have good rumours to share with me? No. My advice, my advice to you is to learn what you do best and stick with it. Don't try to be a jack of all trades, you'll only wind up being a master of none. Know your strengths and leverage them to reduce your weaknesses. That credo has served me well for years and I advise you to do the same. Sound advice? Secret? Rubs Jean. A little secret you ask for Eliana? Well, a secret shared is no longer a secret, is it? Oh, very well. Here's my secret to you. Keep yours close to your vest and only share with those you trust explicitly. Remember always who your friends truly are and never tell more than you absolutely have to. That's my secret for you. Thank you. What can you tell me about Jasmine? Jasmine and I go way back. At one time we were close friends. She used to listen to me play whenever I was in town. Unfortunately, time and people change and we sadly grew apart. I'm glad to see she is as beautiful as ever. That's enough, Deandra. Alright. Now I'm wondering if here's going to be a love interest for Jasmine or for me. That would be quite interesting. We'll see. Right, Jasmine, you wanna comment? Deandre was an old friend I met before I came to Sedanine. We had a falling out and I hadn't seen him again until now. Please Aureliana, can we not talk about him anymore? As you wish, Jasmine, as you wish. Now that I'm here. Speak up. Let's entertain the patron the patrons. <laughs> A tiny bit of money for me. It's not much, but in time I'll be more popular and I'll get some food and some drinks and even a bed for the night. Just not now. For now I have to, you know, keep practicing. For example, okay, Evelyn worried me for a second running in a circle. Let's play the Bardic Charm song. And Arnand asked me to give the note. On your back. It's right here, it's actually on my way, so that's no trouble at all. May I help you? No, no, I know my way, thank you. Hasfat. Note to Hasfat and Doublelist has been removed from your inventory, goodbye. Alright. <laughs> I was not expecting a long story, but... There you have it. I delivered the note. Right, ladies. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going ahead. I'm going ahead. Right. Do you need something? This time, for sure, I am traveling. What do you to think of Balmora? What do I think of Balmora? It's alright. But 
right now I'd like to go and have a look at... I'm listening, please. Go ahead. Sabbath Mora. Are you already another part? Yes, you are. I like your style. Here, my treat. Cool. Please take me to Sadrath Mora. And we'll be looking for an Argonian to take us to the Pegasus estate. That's pretty crowded. Do you want something? No, no, I no. I suppose no. I have a moment. What? No, you can't. You can't rest for a second, really. Hello there. Imperial Our... shrine. Well, they don't have quests for me. I have one sugar. This boat here is how we travel to the Pegasus estate, but without a sailor, it's um, it's gonna be problematic. Let's go find ourselves a sailor. Must walk. Getting tired. Greetings. takes some time getting used to the, the really like fairy type mushrooms in other regions. Let's have something to drink, like fresh water. That's a weird name for a man. I don't know who you are. Probably a scout or a servant. Servant, uh, let's say. Fungus. No business with you right now. No Can business with Thieves Guild. But this person there likes his mead. Is the Argonian we're looking for? Fine, thank you. What can I do for you? Well, you can travel. You are well informed. Yes, I know the route to the Pegasus estate. Do you wish to travel there? Yes, that would be great. There is a slight problem. Cornelius, a guard over at the Wolverine Hall, has accused me of smuggling and put a bounty on my head. I am innocent, of course. So you want me to prove your innocence? It would be less of a hassle to pay the fine and be done with it, no? If you say so. Looking for something in particular. It's just a tiny, tiny problem. I don't think that's going to be enough. But Irulin, since I have you here, tell me about you. I'd love to tell you more over a glass of mates. We should go and have a drink in Balmora someday. Yes. Just come from Balmora some other time. For now, let me see if I can give you some stuff. But I will have to sail, you know, at some point. Yeah, I've collected quite a few clothing items for no good reason. Really, I, I have to sell all that. Well, now, 
let's just make my load a tiny bit less. Yeah, I thought she might have hit that. Okay, just equip whatever you like. But let's talk about your apparel and do not wear a helmet. Thank you. So we want to talk to Cornelius. Yes, the Argonian likes his meat has been found guilty of smuggling and must pay a fine of 500 or face jail time. Don't tell me the lout convinced you to pay the fine for him, and I was so very much looking forward to arresting him too. Mm -hmm. I can use my speechcraft, that honestly looks like the best option, because I have no reputation. I am not even in the Legion, and I don't want to pay. My superior, what was the name of the Argonian again? Oh, I see, I was mistaken. It was like his mates that has a bounty. Okay. Speaking of bounty, yeah, it's still the month of the Atronach. Do you want something? Mm hmm. Now, I could return to Lax's Mead immediately, but since I'm here, I'm gonna go have a look in the inn where, first of all, I can perform because practice makes perfect, but also I believe there is a bard. Don't remember what song she can teach me, but right now, every song. Walk. Right now, every song is good to have. Speak, traveler. It's nice how they're all following me. Okay, let's run. Dude, I think you forgot to wear something. And I don't have a mod that allows me to give items to absolutely everyone. There is one, I believe it's called uh, Barter Improve. And you can barter with absolutely every NPC. Hello, Bart. Hi. Okay. Um, is that Farah's Hall in the Wall? Yes. Sad with Mora is still very confusing for me. You're a bard. Yes. And she taught me Soothe Creature. I'm getting hungry. But before I perform, oh, sorry, before I eat, let's perform a little bit. Can't wait to level up and improve I'm my Go ahead. agility a bit. Okay, and now that I've earned my keep, let's eat. I think I'm gonna run low, I'm gonna, I'm going to run low on food. Because I do have quite a few ingredients, but they're not, all of them are not good to eat as they are. But bread is good. Or maybe a little bit of, um, Creep jerky to go with that. That's it. I'm not hungry anymore. Brilliant. Let's pick that up. Time to travel to Pegasus Estate. Good, no penalty. 
Hey there, birdie. Alright, I think I'm getting used to the shrooms. Anyway, it's nice to have the, you know, the, the landscape change every once in a while. To have slight differences in the cities. Makes the game feel new. Yes. If you want something, now's the time These to talk. These are pretty odd. Um, I think I meet him there. Not, not at the docks. I <laughs> say so, yeah, I think like I did create the mod, but it was such a long time ago. Okay, nice is meet. Can we travel now? The coast is clear. Yes, let's go. Likes is me, takes you to his boat, docked at the Wolverine Mall. Let's go. I follow him to the dock. Unfortunately, with all the scripts that automatically teleport me, it doesn't make my companions follow me. All of these are empty because I strongly believe that when you get a house mod, well, you don't get it. You know, with a pantry stocked with food and all that. So there we are. This is the Azura Coast. We have skeletons and cliff races for neighbors. Meh, that's, that's, you know, not that great. We do have a um, barge to travel to the other side. That is a, a sank boat guarded by slaughterfish. Really, it's a perfect, perfect surrounding. Uh, we are here. Now, I don't really... Originally, that's not where I had put the estate. It was somewhere else. And uh, I moved it so that it would be compatible with Tamriel we built. Let's have a look. For now, everything is locked. I mean, it's not my home, so why, why on earth would I be allowed to go everywhere? I'm picking the flowers because I don't like the, I don't like the bees around it. So that's how I remove them. Let's have a quick look at the garden. Uh, it's not. <laughs> I don't have my companions and I can't fight. So let's go in where it's safe. Welcome to the Pegasus Estate. How may I help you? I am a friend of Fane's. He invited me a while ago after I helped him out in the bitter coast. I was just yesterday. Oh yes, he did mention you. You will find him in the Lord's Suite. I must warn you. He's very sick. After he returned from his last trip, he worked for days on in his lab until he collapsed and hasn't been able to get up again. Let's go talk to Fane. And this is the Major Domo, looking very, very you stern. You may speak. Hmm. Really, I shouldn't be able to pick that up, but... I mean, let's face it. I am terrible with textures, so this is very, very shoddy. But you know, I tried. Right now, there are no rank achievements. There are no keys. Level achievements, I achieved level one. What? And this one is for reputation, and I have no reputation. Let's go. I'm gonna have to pick up all of those gold cannons. Can't have these inside now, can we? Uh, 
and the Lloyd's suite is right there. And here is my good friend Fein. You can't tell whether he's ill or just lounging. How it is you, Aureliana? Aureliana? How have you been? I was... He tries to reach the glass on his bedside table with no success. I think that's what he wants. You take the glass and hand it to Fein. Thank you. Uh, the plants have found me and I am dying. May I ask a boon of you? There are a couple of items that would bring me such comfort. Would you bring them to me? Um, yeah, sure, I'll do whatever I can. What are these two items? The first one you'll find in the room next door, the ladies' chamber. It is a ruby amulet. Eolia wore it all the time. She probably kept it with her jewellery. The second is the portrait of her I kept in the cave near Pelagia. Please bring them to me. If you're not sure how to leave and return to the estate, you could speak to Lexis Mead. I just love, 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 love that clock. And if you look at time, it's 2 p.m. Well, it's 2.50. That's fair enough. It actually shows game time. And it ticks. And I love it. Love it, love it. The pool table, unfortunately, does not work. There's, there's no way I could script that. No can do. The loot is scripted, but I haven't... Um, you, you, you're supposed to put your own mp3s in the music folder of Morrowind and then you can play the songs you want. Room next door. Oh, there's the bathroom. Room next door, here we are. And that would be the ladies chamber. One day, it's going to be mine. Yeah. Really, sometimes I wish I could build my flat or my room the same way I did in Morrowind. Not gonna take a bath just yet. There we go. Now, this... Do I still have things? No, I don't. Because I gave it all to Irulin. Let's call Irulin. Hello, Irulin. I want to take all those rubbish pieces of clothes. That. One of that. That I already have quite the collection of and of the uh, pants for some reason like I don't know maybe my character has a thing for trousers and the shoes and there was yeah that Now I'm just going to chuck it all in there. I know it's quite a bit of a micromanagement, but it's all worth it in the end because there we are. My shoes have appeared here. My robe has appeared up there, and I believe the shirt's there. And as you collect every piece of vanilla clothing by the end of the game, this little um, dressing room is going to be full of every, every clothes there is. Shoes. There's quite a few already. But for now, Feyen had a request, and I already did, t I already did take the the portrait.
Right, Ian. You have them. Thank you so much. You have been a good friend to me, possibly my only friend. Wow. I am. I say why I wrote it. So it's nice that I can impress myself with the cheesiness and the the flatitude of the dialogue. I am tired. Will you let me rest? But please come back later after you speak with the majordomo. Thank you again. You're welcome. What did I say, Evelyn, about no helmet? Thank you. Let's go talk to the Majordomo. I really did put very strong speak. lights in here. It's because I want to be able to see the trophies and all that. Oh well, the guest room has been made ready for you. It is on the first floor at the end of the corridor. You may consider it yours for as long as you wish. Was there anything else? I don't know really. Fane asked me to talk to you. Maybe there was something you needed help with. No, I have everything I need. Like his meat has unloaded his cargo, so we have enough supplies for a few months. Now that we use a lot, now that the estate is empty. Was the estate much different before? Oh yes, staff running around everywhere, builders working on a new room, engineers designing new facilities and parties. Master Fang and the Lady Eolia used to throw grand parties. With the lady gone and the master sick, there hasn't been anything to celebrate. Gradually, Master Fame sent all the employees away and refused to see anyone. What happened to Eolia? I'm sorry, it is not my place to tell. I wanted to thank you for being here, for bringing comfort to Master Fame. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have matters to attend to. That's quite all right. I have my new bedroom to discover. First floor at the end of the corridor. Yeah, there's that's a weird thing going on with the with the textures. With the Lalu textures, I noticed. No. This is it. The Almalexia suite is, for now, our, you know, rather comfy room. I mean, I wouldn't mind having that to myself. Dear friend, welcome to the Pegasus estate. I'm not going to pick that up. could use apples. I believe they are compatible with necessities of more wind. I'll find out the next time I need to eat. I'm not tired, I don't think. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> I promise normally I wouldn't drink water from the wash basin. But let's just say I got surprised this time. Alright. We have a bath, we're ready to carry on with our adventures. Evelyn, move. I don't think I told her. Mm, by the way, don't stay too close. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah, she doesn't seem to care, does she? You're stuck in there. to carry absolutely everything, do I? I don't need two of these, I'd rather sell them. My meager collection of cards 
mean, it's not gonna get better until I buy packs of cards, and right now I can't afford it.